here. So you might at first glance think that it looks like it's doing okay. It actually is really not doing all that well. Here's the low level circulation right in there. And then you see there are some thunderstorms, not a lot of them, but there are some thunderstorms on the south side of that circulation. And we've got largely cloud free sky in the northern half of that circulation. And it's not so much that we've got stronger wind aloft. It's rather that there's a lot of dry air. And we've talked a lot about the fact that there's been quite a bit of dry air through the Atlantic Basin so far this season. So hostile conditions right now on the north side of that circulation, the dry air indicated by that brownish color right there, and that's being drawn right in. That's why we've got that lack of thunderstorm activity. And without that thunderstorm activity, you're just not going to see it getting uh, stronger very quickly. But it is a large circulation, so if it can manage to fend that off, then it will slowly come up in intensity. And that is what's in the forecast right now from the National Hurricane Center, looking for the storm to be close to a hurricane, possibly a hurricane as it's near Puerto Rico, maybe to the north of Puerto Rico, and then moving up towards the Bahamas. After that, over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, possibly as a hurricane. So let's look at some of what the models are telling us right now. As far as track is concerned, there's not a whole lot of question about that at this point. It looks like it's going to be driven basically west northwest and perhaps just north of the greater Antilles over the next several days here. And as far as intensity is concerned, we'll look at the intensity models and you notice that they are gradually making the storm stronger. Uh, that's expected because it is a large circulation coming up through tropical storm here through day three to four and then perhaps becoming a hurricane hurricane days four to five. Now, what we've been seeing in the global modeling is really interesting. And the European model this morning showing us uh, while the GFS model was showing us a weaker circulation coming up and towards Florida, the European model, you notice see all these rings right here. These are lines of equal pressure. When you see a lot of them like that, that's indicating a strong storm. So once we saw the Euro doing that, along with the intensity models, we said, whoa, this is maybe a big deal. Now, recent run from the European model showing a weaker circulation moving up into the northern Gulf. And uh, we've got a lot to figure out here. We'll continue to watch it very closely. Back